Okay, so what we're going to do in this lecture is go ahead and install Visual Studio tools for Xamarin on a Windows computer. Now, just so you are not confused by what we're seeing here, I actually have Windows running on parallels on my Mac, so that is why you see this being on my Mac, but this is actually Windows. You can see that this is Microsoft Edge. You see the close buttons over here to the to the right corner, so this is Windows. It's just I am running it right here on my Mac with Parallels. But basically, you're going to have to do something very similar. We are going to be navigating to Visual Studio.microsoft.com forward slash Xamarin, and here you're going to find the download for Windows button. So this same page is going to identify whether you're on Windows or on Mac and prompt you to download the version for that specific operating system. So again, you can select the Community Edition, download, and as soon as it is downloaded, run the installer. And you will see something very similar to this. Now, it is in here where you have to make sure that you select the correct things that have to be installed. And what you will have to go ahead and search for is the mobile and gaming section and select the mobile development with .NET option, which actually has the Xamarin icon in that element listed in here. Now, actually, what you can do in here optionally is select the universal Windows platform development option if you want to create Windows application with Xamarin Forms. We're not going to be covering that in that in this course. However, that is something that you could do. I am not going to be selecting it, but it is important that you know that you can do that. Other than that, you can just go ahead and make sure that you select Android, Java, Google Android emulators. The Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager hacks uh, is very important you, that you select this one. And again, if you want to develop for Windows 10, you can select Universal Windows Platform Tools for Xamarin. Other than that, you are good to go. You are just going to need to hit on the install. Notice that the installation is quite big at 15 gigabytes, basically because some other tools are going to be installed. I do recommend that you leave those selected and just make sure that you have enough space available and hit on install. Of course, this is going to take a bit more time than on Mac, but after a few minutes, you should also see Visual Studio start right after the installation, just like we saw on Mac in the previous lecture. Now, while the installation finishes, let me just mention that while this installer is going to install pretty much everything that you need, if you want to develop for iOS as well, which I assume is going to be your case, you would absolutely need a Mac computer. So what you would have to do is, and we're going to take a look at this in the lecture where we test iOS applications directly from Windows, is to connect somehow to a Mac computer. I do recommend here a couple of things. One, that if you do, do not own a Mac computer, you borrow one from a friend once in a while for you to test your application. Again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in a specific lecture. Uh, and two, if you do not own a computer and none of your friends owns a computer or your university cannot lend you a computer or your work cannot lend you a computer, Mac in Cloud is the option. So Mac in Cloud is the service that allows you to rent, and let me actually navigate over to MacInCloud.com. So MacInCloud.com will allow you to rent a Mac in the cloud. And you could I could I think it's one dollar per hour. So maybe at the beginning a simple one dollar per hour. You don't even have to buy a plan, a complete plan. Maybe just use it for one or two hours once in a while and that's going to be enough. In fact, you can see how it is tailored for Xamarin as well. Eventually, you could also pay $20 per month if you need a little bit more. So as you can see, you can 
set up pay as you go subscription, one dollar per hour, or a managed server for twenty dollars per hour, which gives you pretty much the same thing except I think you have unlimited hours. So you would have to come here and figure out which is it that you want to use, but that is the best option that I think you have available in case you cannot get your hands on a Mac computer. So as you can see, the installation is about to finish up in here. So we should see Visual Studio open in just a few seconds. And here we go. After just a few seconds, Visual Studio asked me to log in. And after I did, here I am on Visual Studio 2017 for Windows. So this is how you install for Windows. Again, just make sure that if you're going to be developing for iOS as well, you get a Mac somehow. And once you have a Mac, you will have to follow the steps that I detailed in the previous lecture. So you get your Mac ready for Xamarin development as well. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to create our first Xamarin project.